Agamu kwa njibu mwana hivu nse ya Kenya riga diga shagwa. Senkwa na yabene na barikia mwangana niga ene kirie na chekwe kira na busio uwe bunge ankyo elio kwe gire la. Alia onsi abeire kakube kirua korua asabarai abubabeka umorobelio buko murusi abisi una omokonyi bumura ibuense ya Kenya. Kurende na wanyana bo ni gata ebide gati ya mangana alia babeire bago teba na mangana atalia yabu maene. Eke agana mangana mangi na wageni bo ya ye nyingo diga ya nyora kera atalia mirimu. Na bo ye ndego konywa noyo kabeire usumu muromu abo. Uyo kabeire omoko, uyo kabeire omogava na uwe kaunti ya nyeri nderitu gashagwa. Uyo siritie obogimabuwa ya guetara se omobasukano uwe para. Erebote ya yu turategera chinsa nke chia elire. Na uwe gobono nige kobe kura lire liyake una ava kago kwana. The Olive Garden Hotel that is alleged to have been brought by regard gashagwa belongs to the estate of the late James Nderitu Gashagwa. And in his will, he directed that we sell all his properties and divide the proceeds among his brothers, sisters, wives, and children. We, as the executors of his estate, and I want to pay tribute to lawyer Jorogere Regero and Mwai Madenge for their commitment and sacrifice to the Gachagua family. Many executors who have been given properties to run by deceased people end up misusing them. and depriving the beneficiaries. These two great men and myself, because my brother knew I'm an honest man and a fair person, and he knew his family would never suffer in my hands. We were able to sell Olive Garden Hotel at 412 million and distributed the proceeds to the beneficiaries as directed in his will. We registered his will in the High Court of Kenya and were given the probit. And my late brother, in his wisdom, left regarding Ashagwa 5% of his wealth. I was therefore able to get 20 million shillings from this sale. That is money that is in my account that again I'm told they are proceeds of crime. He left my mother 5% of his wealth, another 20 million shillings. And since my mother is dead, my late brother, because he trusted me, had put in his will that I hold my mother's shares in trust. So that is another 20 million shillings in my account. Again, my late brother left me another 4% hold in trust of the children who is deceased, the late Dr. Friend Washira Gashagwa, whose children are in South Africa and another 16 million shillings was put in my account. My late brother gave 2% to my wife, Pastor Dalkas, 